general formula of the homologous series to which compound A belongs to. So if you look at compound A, you will realize that uh, we have helped three Y and E, right? So from that, we know that it's an alkyne. And then what is the general formula of an alkyne? So for 2.1.1, we have C and H2 and minus 2. If it was an alkene, it would be CNH2N. And if it was an alkene, it would be CNH2N plus 2. Right. And then 2.1.2, we're supposed to draw the structural formula of compound A. So let's start with hept, right? So hept, we know that we need 7 carbons. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven and then it is hept three y and e right so on the third carbon we need a triple bond so if we start counting from the left we're gonna have uh, one two three and there we go we have our our triple bond right so now we just need to add the branches so on the fifth carbon we have an ethyl right we have a branch with two carbons so we start counting from the side that is closest to the functional group so we're gonna have one two three four five so on this carbon here we're supposed to have a branch with two carbons right let's just leave it like that for uh, the time being and then on the second carbon and the sixth carbon we have uh, branches with one carbon right so the second carbon we're supposed to have a branch and then the sixth carbon we also supposed to have a branch right and then that is uh, basically it what is left now is just adding the hydrogens uh, where we need to add them right so i think uh this is what we supposed to have then uh, these carbons we also need to add hydrogen step yeah so that is um basically what 2.1.2 is asking of us right but then you have to fill out uh, hydrogens but then for the sake of time i'm just gonna leave it like that right and now moving to 2.2 2.2 is saying that compound c is a functional isomer of compound E. So compound E is a ketone, right? It's a ketone. Why are we saying compound E is a ketone? Because the carbon bonded to the oxygen is in between two other carbons, right? We have this carbon here and this other carbon. So it means that compound C is an aldehyde, right? Because uh, the functional isomer of a ketone is an aldehyde and vice versa. And then uh, 2.2.1 2 .2 is saying let's define the term functional isomer. Organic compounds that have the same molecular formula but different functional groups. Organic compounds that have the same molecular formula but different functional groups, right? Just like ketone and aldehyde. And then uh, moving to 2.2. 2.2 is saying that let's write down the IU pack name of compound C. So compound E, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five carbons, right? So it's supposed to be pentane two on. And then now compound C is a functional isomer of compound E, right? So it will be pentanal pentanol right uh, that is uh, pretty much straightforward no trickery whatsoever uh, moving to 2.3 2.3 2.3.1 compound d is a tertiary alcohol write down the name of the functional group of compound d so the functional group of an alcohol is hydroxyl right so we have hydroxyl and then the functional group of an organic acid is carboxyl. The functional group of ketone is carbonyl. And the functional group of aldehyde is formyl. Right, just to remind you. And then 2.3.2, let's write down the structural formula of compound D. Right, so compound D is an alcohol with five carbons. But then we need to put those five carbons such that 
the compound that is bonded so it's such that the carbon that is bonded to OH is bonded to three other carbons. That is the only way we can have a tertiary alcohol, right? So let's see how we can possibly do that. So let's say we have one, two, three, and then uh, we can put a uh, carbon here, another one here, and have OH on the side, right? So let me just uh, put these dashes here where you will fill out the hydrogens so as you can see here right because my definition you need to know your definitions right a tertiary alcohol is an alcohol where the carbon bonded to the oh is bonded to three other carbon that makes it tertiary if it's bonded to two that's secondary if it is bonded to one that's primary right so we can see that this carbon that is bonded to oh is also bonded to one two three other carbons so that would make it a tertiary alcohol right and moving to 2.4 so 2.4 says that uh, compound f reacts with propanoic acid in an acid catalyzed reaction to produce a straight chain organic product let's give a general name given to this reaction compound f let's look at compound f compound f is an alcohol right and then if it reacts with propanoic acid then esterification is going to take place right alcohol plus an acid so 2.4.1 we have esterification as our answer there right and then now uh 2.4.2 the question is saying let's write down the iupac name of this organic product so yeah let's look at it let's look at it uh this is how you name an ester right the first part of the name comes from the alcohol and then the second part of the name comes from the acid right so the alcohol that is used it has uh four carbons right so if it has four carbons then it's uh butanol and the acid that is used is propanoic acid right and then now the name of our product will be butyl propanoid butyl propanoid right that is how we name an ester